thanks for joining me in another video today. I didn't think we'd be doing another FSD versus Waymo video so soon, but Waymo just announced that they've expanded their driving map in Arizona. In our first versus video, Waymo was only able to drive in the Tempe Chandler area. In our second video, Waymo has added a new separate zone in the Phoenix metro area. Well, they've bridged that gap, adding a southern portion of Scottsdale and almost all of Tempe. Now we've got this big, cohesive blob that we can drive in. So we'll be combining the challenge of both of our videos to make this the longest Waymo versus Tesla trip we've ever done. The starting point of our video will be at the Phoenix Art Museum, and we'll be driving to the Chandler Museum. This will take us through both zones, and even drive into some newly opened area. As a reminder, FSD system and the Waymo driver will be taking different routes, as Tesla's system typically prefers to take the highway if available. Waymo doesn't do highways. There's no way to override the functionality, as map planning is an integral part of self-driving cars. We choose the destination points, but the cars choose their own path. FSD may also drive itself out of the zone used by Waymo, since it doesn't have any boundary areas. Waymo is only trained to drive in the specified area. The Tesla driver will be in the front seat, but won't intervene unless it's necessary. Last but not least, Tesla is running FSD version 11.3.6, and Waymo will be using its Driver 5 system. Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, it's here. Oh no, where's my ride going? Oh. Oh, it's gonna make a turn. to Chandler Museum. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Oh, hard to stop, people around us. The Waymo and Tesla are navigating their way through the parking lot. Tesla's steering wheel is going a bit crazy. FSD still struggles in parking lots. Tesla is waiting for a clearing to make a right. There are people walking and a car is in its way. There's another Waymo right in front of me. Tesla is now making its way out of the parking lot. As of now, both Waymo and Tesla are on the same path. Here the Waymo and Tesla split up, with the Waymo going on ahead through another stop sign and the Tesla waiting to make a right at the stop sign. Tesla changes lanes over to its first traffic light and it'll be making a left. Meanwhile, Waymo will be making a right. Waymo's waiting for a clearing. And off it goes. I'll speed up some of the clips soon, when not much is going on. But right now, we're at a normal speed as we will see these two cars meet up again. Tesla and Waymo are both coming up to the same intersection, but Tesla is facing east and Waymo south. Very quickly we can see another Waymo cross the intersection from the Tesla view. That one is not me. Wait for it. My Waymo is finally going through the intersection and now you can spot it from the Tesla view. 
FSD is making right on red. The red Honda is partially in our lane. Tesla moves over to follow its route and avoids it. It would have been interesting to see how it would avoid the Honda if it wasn't already planning to get out of the lane. Would it have changed lanes to get out of the way? Or just move left to give it space? Ah, uh, we meet again. Both at the red traffic light. But not for too long. Momentarily, we'll see the Tesla drive past the Waymo on the left. There's Waymo, and there goes Tesla. This is where we part ways. Adios. Tesla's entering its first freeway of the trip. Meanwhile, Waymo is waiting for the green light. Tessa merges on the freeway and moves over a lane. Now it's time to speed things up. We see Waymo making a few left and right turns at stop signs through the city grid. Slowing things down momentarily, Waymo is making a left on the road Van Buren, which is a straight path we will be on for some time. Let's do a quick location update. The green is our start point and the circled flag is our end point. As you can see, Tesla is quickly making its way utilizing the highways. Waymo has advanced on its path, but it's behind. Alright, not too much going on, let's speed it up. As you can see, Tesla is driving rather slow. It's in a construction zone and the signage has the speed limit at 55. The car really should have gotten out of the center lane and moved over to the right to let people pass. But the Tesla driver didn't adjust the speed or lane selection for the drive. In our last video, we saw something similar with the car getting passed because it was going the speed limit. Do you think autonomous vehicles should increase their speed to keep up with the flow of traffic? Let me know in the comments. I'm not really sure the answer myself. Both cars have advanced on their journey. Where are we on the map now? Waymo is moving on a straight path down Van Buren. It'll eventually make its way down south. Tesla is now further along and will be reaching the final checkpoint soon. For any ASU fans, Waymo is now entering the part of Sun Devil territory. Tesla is now exiting the freeway. It is making its final stretch to the destination. FSD is waiting to make a left into the museum parking lot on the left side.
Tessa has arrived and the driver will be taking over to park the car. There were no interventions from the FSD beta tester during the entire trip. Back at the Waymo, I was confused as to where we were. Waymo started making its way through a parking lot that belonged to apartment complexes and a small shopping area. After I saw a familiar parking garage, I then realized where we were. I've been here once before. Let's see where we are on the map. Waymo is currently halfway to the destination, making its way down. The screen says we still have 31 minutes left to go. Waymo's making it through this plaza and up ahead we connect back to the main street. Alright, Waymo is making a right on red. We will still keep the Tesla cam up until the Waymo comes into the view arriving. However, we will keep the Tesla view minimized. For those unfamiliar with Tesla's FSD and Waymo, FSD uses cameras and Waymo uses LiDAR radar and cameras for its driving. Waymo is now turning into another back road and going through a neighborhood. As Tesla waits, our FSD beta tester has gone inside the museum to explore. For the majority of this trip, Waymo has been traveling on roads that have been 35 mile per hour zones. We're now less than 10 minutes away from arriving. Waymo is approaching a traffic light. So, as we were approaching the traffic light, my camera ran out of storage. I didn't account for the length of this trip. This 4K filming filled up my storage, so I quickly switched to a backup phone. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Luckily this happened while I was at a red light and picked up recording again right as we were crossing the intersection. Pardon the quality of the video. Fortunately, we only have five minutes left. 
Let's go. Are you sure? sure <laughs> Last time I wasn't sure. Okay. All right. Thanks, Waymo. Okay. There's the Tesla. Wait, no one's in there. Apparently our Tesla driver got bored and decided to check out the museum. Both drives went well, but with Tesla taking the freeways, he was able to arrive much faster than we were. I'm not sure why Waymo is restricted from using freeways, but as their map grows, freeway support will become necessary. This is how long each car took to drive to its destination, Tesla and Waymo. And it cost $43.45 for our Waymo ride. Thanks for spending time with me today. Follow me on social media at KaiZV and Kai's Tesla. Kai's my dog. And check out my website for more of your resources at KaiZV.com. That's all for now and happy charging.